Hey everybody, welcome to The Real Show Barbecue. Today we're going to be cooking a Delmonica rib roast on the pit barrel cook. We're going to be doing a collaboration with two of my good buddies, Jax from Jax Drinkwater YouTube channel, and also Troy from T-Roy Cooks. Those guys have amazing channels. I'm sure you probably already heard of them. Uh, they've got uh, much larger channels than I do, and they've decided to let's do this together and I greatly appreciate both of them. I'll put the information below in the show more section to each one of their channels and if you have not for some reason been to their channel uh, and you are not familiar with them go there and subscribe to them and tell them that Scott sent you from The Real Show Barbecue. Now what we we're going to do is we're all three going to be doing three different kind of meats. I'm going to keep it a surprise so you be sure to go there and check out what they're going to do but what I want to be doing again is the Delmonica rib roast. So hang with us and we'll get started on seasoning it up. Here is our Delmonico rib roast. It's about two pounds, nothing real large. We're just gonna be doing this for our immediate family here at home. And it came from Florida Fresh Meat Company. This is grass fed beef. And I'm not, if you're not familiar with grass fed, it's so much healthier for you, better for the environment. Um, also, there's a lot of you know, local companies that do this. So be sure to check them out. I will leave the information again in the show more section of everything that I use today. But I just want to show you, if you see, look how deep red this beef is. You can see how top quality this beef is. It doesn't have any kind of red dye or anything it's just super deep red it's going to be some great flavor i trimmed it up a little bit got some of the silver skin off so let's go ahead and prepare it we're just going to put a little bit of olive oil on here this is just some spray olive oil i'm going to rub this in yes my hands are clean and yes i will be washing them when i get through no cross contaminants i promise so we get a little bit of that on there and we're gonna make sure we get our rub on all sides. And what I wanna do is first of all, start off with just my home SPG salt, pepper, garlic. I'll leave again the information below on what I use here. We're just gonna kinda of give this a liberal coating all the way around. And the next seasoning we're gonna be using is by Reload uh, Rub and Seasonings. This is their fully loaded premium signature blend. There's no MSG, there's no sugars, and it's gluten-free. So we're gonna put our second coated on this. We're just gonna be using two coatings today. Again, this is gonna give us some great color. It's got a deep red color as well. Okay, now what we're gonna do is I transfer it over to some plastic wrap. And we're gonna wrap this in plastic wrap. And we wanna leave this, if you can, overnight. But today, we're just gonna be leaving it in the refrigerator for probably three to four hours before we put it on the pit barrel to actually, hopefully, kinda of soak in some of these uh, the seasonings we put in there and help get just a really good crust and then be able to just get the flavors throughout. So, the next time you see us, we'll be on the pit barrel cooker. Alrighty, we got our Pit barrel cooker, it's running right around 3.30. So we're gonna go ahead and get this rib roast on. We've had it sitting for right at four hours. We're gonna just put it right there in the center. Get that nice sizzle. Put our meat probe in, try to get right there in the thick part. Close this back up. We're shooting for, I like mine closer to medium. So we're looking, shooting for around 135 to 140. And we'll take it off and let it rest. All right, we are 45 minutes into the cook. So let's go ahead and check it out. Right now our thermometer is saying that we're right around 119. We're gonna check it with our instant read here. This is saying a little hotter here. It's a little more done over here. Let's see if I can go a little bit deeper since it's so thick. 
It says 126. So I'm going to go a little bit deeper down here in the middle. That's 120. So that's about right down in the center. So we're going to let this go just a little longer. All right, we are right at one and a half hours. Our thermometer from the outside again is reading right at 135, I believe. All this juice is running out. Yep, we're gonna go ahead and get this off. We're gonna let it rest. I'm gonna wrap it in, I'll cover it in some foil loosely and give you guys an idea what it looks like. Got a great color. Looking forward to trying it. Here's the roast. We've been letting it sit for about five minutes with some foil over top of it, just loosely. So let's go ahead and cut into it. The smell is absolutely awesome. I'm gonna turn it this way so I can cut into it with this meat head knife. Look at that, Look at that juice coming right out of it. Yeah, that's exactly where I wanted that. I like it medium. Go ahead and cut it into it a little bit more. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Just look at the juice just coming out of that. Look at the juice. Mm-mm-mm. Oh man, oh man, I need to cut into this some more and get me a piece. Let's give it a taste. Look at that. We can get it focused in on you. Oh man, that looks good. That looks good. Let's give this a try right quick. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is so tender. The combination with Reload and the SPG. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. Sorry, talking my mouth full, but I can't, I can't pass it up. That is so, so good. Guys, try this at home. Again, this was just a two pounder. Took about an hour and a half on the pit barrel cooker. Amazing flavors there. Don't forget to check out T-Roy. And my buddy Jack Strentwater, great channels. I'm looking forward to seeing what they're doing on their videos. Thank you so much. We appreciate you all, and God bless.